Today we're checking out the Harley Benton Double Cut Junior electric guitar loaded with a single P90. Let's see how it sounds. Welcome back guys, this is Shane. Today we're checking out this Harley Benton Double Cut Junior in a lefty. I've been waiting on this for a while and I'm excited to have it in my hands. Let's take a look. Here's a guitar up close. Now, as you can see, this color looks really, really cool. It's TV yellow, but they also refer to this as the Dirty Mustard DC. Now, if we see any little grease on the plastic here, I still haven't actually taken off this plastic guard, but I did spray the guitar with finger ease for the intro track. And if you see any like discolorations, it's just that stuff that I've sprayed on. So in terms of the fretboard, we get 22 medium jumbo frets, which feel really great in the hand. They just, yeah, they feel great. None of the fret edges are sharp. And yeah, what can I tell you? It's a really playable guitar. It's nice and easy to play. We have a C-shaped profile neck as well, which is great, and a set in neck. So if you can see behind the strap here, there's no bolt on neck or anything. So they've done, done it the right way. I think that looks really cool. One of the things I really like about this guitar is this wrap around bridge. I think this is really well suited visually to a P90 pickup. And in this particular guitar, we have the Roswell P90. I think it sounds really cool. We also get a volume and a tone control over here. In terms of the tuners, they look a lot like the Cluson tuners, except they're actually branded with Harley Benton. So you do get their own, you know, branded tuners or their, you know, it's got the, their name on it at least anyway. But overall, this feels great in the hand. And one of the great things, like I mentioned, is it's not heavy. So I really like this. When the big box turned up, the big box weighed nothing at all. Firstly, a massive thanks goes out to Toman for sending this out. I absolutely appreciate it. It's a completely unpaid review other than the fact they're letting me keep this. So any of my opinions at the end of this video will be my own. I'll list the pros and cons and how I feel about it at the end of the video. But this is a really nice guitar and I'm looking forward to sharing you a couple of the tones you can get out of it being that it's such a simple electric guitar. If you'd like to find out more about this, links will be below. Let's get into it. All right, let's get into it. Today I'm plugged into the Kemper using a profile I just made off camera of my Marshall DSL 40CR amplifier. It's loaded with an Eminence Texas Heat and I had it mic'd up with a Sennheiser E906. So this is the Crunch channel with a tone and volume wide open to start with. Here we go. <laughs> Now, 
Now, P90s clean up beautifully if you turn the volume control down. Have a listen. So as you can hear, it cleans up beautifully. If I was to put the volume all the way back up, have a listen to the difference. <laughs> yeah, all right. One of the really cool things about the tone control on this guitar is if you have it most of the way down, but not all the way down, it almost sounds like a neck pickup. So I'm gonna have the volume control on the guitar at about three quarters of the way up and the tone control most of the way down. Let's take a listen. It's got that neck tonality, even though it's just one pickup. Now let's turn it all the way up. While this is a really simple guitar, you can definitely get a wide range of tones just by using your volume control, and I'll show you that now. So this with the tone all the way up and the volume just on. So that's that blues tone. Bit of a classic sort of blues tone. Sort of works with that finger picking stuff as well. Volume control a little bit more up. So it rocks all the way up. Yeah. Thanks again for watching, folks. My name's Shane. Firstly, again, a massive thanks to Toman for sending this out. I really appreciate it. If you want to find out more about it, links will be below. I want to cover some of the pros and cons, in my opinion, about this guitar. So the first thing I really like about it is the fact it looks fantastic, but not only that, it feels really great in the hand. This might be one of the most playable Harley Bentons that has come into the channel in terms of the lefties. It feels really, really great. The fret edges are awesome. It's just a really fast guitar to play. It feels almost really just easy to play, which is a good thing. I'm not fighting with it at all. So yeah, for me, it gets a big thumbs up with that. Now, I love this finish. I think it looks really good. I think it's one of the small trade-offs with lesser expensive guitars is if you do ding this, it will probably ding a little bit easier than some of the more premium guitars out there, but that's not a big deal either. I mean, you're not paying much for something like this and what you're paying for, you're getting some really good tones. I love this pickup, which brings me to another pro. The pickup works extremely well, it sounds great with the tone control up and with the tone control down, with one exception. It doesn't sound great with the tone control all the way off. I was un unable to really get that woman tone at all. So I always had it just up from off and that seemed to replicate that neck pickup tone that I got that from Dr. Rick and it works extremely well. The other thing about the tone control is just up from off to all the way wide open, meaning allowing all the tone to pass through, there's not a lot of difference. So you have to basically have it all the way almost off and then as soon as you start winding it back up, it sounds almost like it would if the tone control was wide open. So there's a whole section of about eight on the dial there. So say from zero to about eight, that sounds pretty much the same. When you get it to nine, you really hear the tone control kick in. And then 10, which would be off, it kind of sounds not very nice. So yeah, my only small criticism is of the tone control. Now that will vary depending on what kind of amps you're playing. And I might just have a funky pot in this guitar, but it's no big deal. I think just in terms of its visuals and weight, this is a really good guitar for someone who doesn't want to go out and spend the kind of money on a, you know, the Gibson variation that would cost <laughs> way more than this. But visually, playability wise, I'm, I'm really impressed by this. So a massive thanks again to Toman for sending this out. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, I check the comments and I'll reply to you down there. So thanks again, catch you soon. See ya.